Uh, as we all know, teaching is not an individual journey. It takes a team of dedicated people to educate a child and a team of people to support a teacher. I wanted to start by thanking SCOE for hosting this wonderful event and congratulate all the spectacular teachers uh, here tonight. I also wanted to thank my principal, Tumua, uh, for pushing me to try new things and for always placing the needs of the students first. Uh, thank you to the entire staff at Earl Warren, especially Nancy Fong and Corey Jones, and of course, I wanted to thank my students, especially Caroline, for her kind introduction. <laughs> Finally, I wanted to thank our superintendent, Mr. Raymond, and all the district representatives here tonight. I actually attended Sacramento City Unified uh, from kindergarten through high school, and I'm very grateful for the wonderful education I received. Um, about nine years ago, I stepped onto Earl Warren's campus as a student teacher for Ms. Fong, and well, I just never left. Um, it was soon clear to me that there was a whole lot to this teaching thing, and that I better clear my schedule for about the ne next decade or so. Uh, sure, there is the whole academic component of teaching, but what I learned early on is that relationships are what make a classroom and school feel more like a home away from home. I truly believe that getting to know the students as people is the key to getting them where they need to be academically and the key to helping raise good people and future leaders. I remember early on uh, Mrs. Fong and Mr. Jones uh, telling, not asking me, that I would be going on home visits with them. So I have to admit it, I was a little nervous at first. That is until I realized that many families love feeding the teachers when they come to their homes. So some days I'd find myself skipping lunch because I heard from the other teachers to expect a delicious meal later that day. Not only was I learning more about the students and families, but being nourished at the same time. What a win-win situation. Of course, relationship building doesn't stop there. At school, it might consist of joining a group of students to a friendly game of dodgeball at recess. <laughs> Um, since I loop with my students, I get to enjoy a few months of target practice until it dawns on them. Hey, there's a lot more of us than there are of him. <laughs> and then for the next two plus years, it's hazardous to my health to join in, but I still do it. Um, can you imagine being a kid and being able to throw a rubber ball as hard as you want at your teacher and not get in trouble for it? Um, so at last, I think I realized the key to my teaching and why the kids keep showing up to school every day. Well, I want to conclude by thanking all my friends and family, especially my parents, uh, Joan and Clotilde, and my sister, Julie, for all their support through the years. I want to express my gratitude to my wife, Rose. She's also a teacher, which means she understands when I get home late because I just spent hours cutting out laminated stars or figuring out the interesting way to teach the difference between colons and semicolons. <laughs> it was truly an honor to be here tonight, surrounded by such wonderful educators. Thank you.